how culturally and emotional relevant she has been to me and my life. I was wondering how the social influences affect your story arcs and for the actors, how will you portray your characters? How old are you that you started to read the comic books back in the 60s? You look, you, do, you don't look your age. Um, I... <laughs> you know brown people, we don't... We don't. <laughs> Black don't crack, brown stays down. Okay. <laughs> I'm 72. I'm 3,000 years. I believe you. <laughs> You're an immortal, yeah, true. <laughs> um, well, that's, that's one of the most amazing things about the Wonder Woman legacy. There is so much to it, and, and the, you know, the, the, the character had been exist for over 75 years now. Um, but eventually, it has so much to do with Patty, with the director, uh, and her vision, and our Bible, which is the script. Um, so basically for me, when I just originally started to portray this character, I went and I did this entire research about the Wonder Woman character, and there is so much material, but at the end of the day, you've got to narrow it down and choose and pick which one you think is the best for yourself in the story. So that's how I do that. Uh, the uh, extent of my research is that Lyle Wagner is one of my dad's best friends. Uh, so um, we barbecued when I was a kid. And uh, no, so yeah, for me it was really, I, I, I was tasked with falling in love with, with uh, Diana Prince, with Wonder Woman, and that's no, uh, not a hard task given uh, the wonderful uh, gal, and that really is it. I mean, that's the hum the humanity of my character comes out in the falling in love, like many of us hopefully do, with another human on planet Earth, and and the greatest parts of ourselves usually come out when that love is is exposed and, and, and touched uh, within ourselves. And I, uh, that's on the micro, and I know on the macro, Patty can speak to it or not, but I know that when I sat down there in the beginning. Um, I always, I, I tend to respond to, I, I, when I talked to Ava, it was similarly uh, um, a kind of a, a resonant experience when, they, when filmmakers talk about what they want to give and put out into the world, especially with something as big of an audience as this. What are they looking to achieve on a, I mean, I don't know, dare I say, a cosmic level, and, and Patty had some very specific ideas about um, the goodness essentially she wanted to put in the world and, and it made me uh, made me excited to be a part of it. And I'll make my answer quick. I, I love that question. It was it was a very important issue to me when I came on board on these films. I also am a Wonder Woman fan from forever. And so the thing that I love the most about Wonder Woman, which has been true throughout history and, and remains true, is that I feel and I'm sure that you know other heroes have this too that she is us more than most superheroes. We, 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 people find themselves in Wonder Woman and identify and find the Wonder Woman within them of all genders, races, sizes, you know, and disabilities. And so, staying very true to what that original Marston Wonder Woman was that, that was so loving and good and kind and warm yet powerful without a question, and, and open-minded and giving, that she made all of us find, and, and struggling with her own challenges, that she made each of us believe in the Wonder Woman within us. That's what I care about. Um.